Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeff Merritt, and you're watching Cox Connections, only on Cox 9. Just more than one year after its official launch, progress continues on the Roanoke River Blue Way. The Blue Way is a 45-mile water trail that facilitates and encourages use of the Roanoke River for activities such as canoeing, kayaking, fishing, tubing, swimming, and watershed education. Shane Sawyer, Regional Planner for Roanoke Valley Allegheny Regional Commission, and Pete Eshelman, Director of Outdoor Branding with Roanoke Regional Partnership, join me to talk about the benefits of a Blue Way and what still needs to be done. Guys, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Let's, Shane, let's start off with this first question. I know it seems very basic. Everybody's familiar with the Greenway. What's a Blue Way? Well, as you noted, it's sometimes referred to as a water trail, a paddle trail, a float trail, but basically it's a navigable stream that has sufficient capacity for passage of canoes, kayaks, and other non-motorized vehicles, but also that has um, sufficient amenities and access to actually uh, enjoy the river and uh, facilitate the use of it. Yeah, 45 miles, that's quite a stretch. Yeah, there's plenty of a uh, river there and also with that 45 miles you have numerous settings. You have backcountry settings, you have an urban setting. Uh, so you get uh, m many options in that 45 mile section. And you know I know uh, folks think of, of, of canoeing and, and kayaking and these sorts of activities but really there's a lot you can do. I mean we mentioned fishing and just just all sorts of activities. Sure, um, of course uh, the first thing that comes to mind when you talk about a blue way of course is the paddling, you know, canoes and kayaks. However, um, the uh, blue way does facilitate other uses such as wading, wildlife viewing, um, watershed education, just uh, hanging out by the river, um, you know, mm -hmm. fishing of course. These mm -hmm. are all activities that are facilitated by development of the blue way. Again, it comes down to accessing the river and just making use of it. And now uh, the Greenway and the Blue Way are, are, are very tied together, uh, you know, beside each other, share common parking areas. Oh yeah, there's certainly a symbiotic relationship between the Greenway and the Blue Way. And as the Greenway develops, which is, you know, it's on its way, funding is there for much of it. Um, as the Greenway is developed, so too will be the, the Blue Way. Again, the, they will share amenities, access, so uh, it's a very symbiotic relationship. Gotcha. Now, I know that there are certain times when uh, you can navigate uh, certain areas and sometimes when maybe the water isn't uh, sufficient. Uh, how do you all keep people informed of, you know, where the best places to go are and if, you know, in, in fact, they'll be able to navigate certain areas with their canoes, kayaks, and that sort of thing? Sure. On, on our, our website, RoanokeRiverBlueWay.org, we have um, all of the accesses mapped, listed, and we also have a recommended uh, minimum stream flow. So you can look at that, compare it to the stream gauge that we also provide links to, and see if it's in a, a, a range that we recommend to go out and use the Blue Way to where we know there'll be sufficient water for whatever vessel you're in. Gotcha. Very good. Pete, let's talk a little bit about why the Blue Way is important to us from an economic perspective. Sure. I mean, a community that has a river running right through it. I mean, not everyone does, and we do. And the greenways, you know, you can't argue that they're a fabulous resource. I mean, people are out there using them. It's turned our attention onto the river now. Everybody's like, hey, the river's there. I want to access it. I want to get into it. How do I do that? Mm -hmm. And that's what this initiative is, is helping, helping us do. You know, the greenway, the blue way, all of our hiking trails, all that is making us a much more healthy, active community. And that's really important. It's, it's showing that Roanoke is a vibrant community, and that mm -hmm. helps us attract people. You know, there's people that want to move to a vibrant area. Once they're there, they find a job. And it also helps us attract these companies, these companies that are looking at the quality of life and what it means if they relocate there. Are their employees going to be happy if they move them there? Are they going to be able to attract and retain employees? So that's, that all comes into play, and the Roanoke River Blue Way is just another, it's another tool in our tool belt that we continue to develop as a region. That's fantastic. You're right. I mean, I think it is. It's one of those things that's the quality of life aspect that uh, employers can look to as an added benefit for their yeah. employees. Yeah. I mean, if you go down there on the Greenway in any given weekend, you see it. You know, there are so many people on the Greenway, mm -hmm. and now we're starting to see that on the river. You mm -hmm. know, we're seeing more and more people out there. You know, I mean, stand-up paddleboarding is the number one, fa it's the fastest growing paddle sport in the world. Mm -hmm. And so you see people down there now doing that. You see them fishing on it. You see kids just stomping and playing and, and playing in the, in the stream. I mean, you didn't see that many years ago. Right. And that's because it, it really wasn't on our radar. People weren't seeing it, they weren't, and, and, and they weren't able to actively engage with it. Mm -hmm. And that's what this initiative is doing. It's opening it up. It's opening up a whole new you know, uh, 
opportunity for our community. Right. And, and not only does that, is that good for businesses in the area, it in and of itself attracts some businesses. It does. You know, I mean, just within about a year, about less than a year, we had a Roanoke Mountain Adventures open up. Mm -hmm. They're located right on the Roanoke River Greenway in Wasina Park. So if someone wants to come tube, kayak, or stand up paddleboard, they can rent equipment from them. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to go out and buy it. They can get in there and they can test the water. Up in Salem, there's another uh, business called On the On the Greenway that rents tubes. So you mm -hmm. can get in there. So there's all these different businesses that are popping up to support the Greenway and now the river, you know, uh, right here. Right. It all kind of comes back together. Yeah, That's fantastic. It is. Good. And so, um, and so what's next? I mean, what, what are our next steps? What needs to be done? Well, we will continue marketing uh, um, the Blue Way and developing the website and, and social media. So we try to continually do that uh, just to keep folks uh, aware of what's going on, um, Blue Way related events. And uh, we do, uh, we are looking on developing a logo, doing some branding type mm -hmm. um, uh, items. And uh, we have several grant opportunities that we're looking to, uh, to pursue. Uh, we now have matching funds from, to actually go after some of these uh, things to contributions from local governments and stakeholders. So uh, um, we will basically look to leverage uh, what funding we do have. We'll try to leverage that to get additional funding. And uh, basically just for marketing and promotion. And the, several of the local governments are already, there's additional accesses planned. Um, mm -hmm. So that will bring the number up to about 18 access points over the, eight, the 45 mile um, uh, blue way. So again, access will not be a problem. Um, you, you'll have everything from an all day float to a 30 minute float if you mm -hmm. want. Um, right. Lots of opportunity here on the, uh, the messaging and the awareness piece. It sounds like a lot of the focus is going to be branding because we're taking advantage of something that already exists. It's there, mm -hmm. you know. What's really it's, yes. it's, <laughs> what's great is all of the community partners and stakeholders. You know, we're identifying. Oh, we need to put in here. We need to take out here. And our, all the local partners and governments, they're all actively trying to make that happen. Uh, you know, there's a new uh, kayak access point going in in the bridges. So there's a mm -hmm. private developer working with the local government to create a public access point. So that's happening. That's starting to be built. You know, ground is probably breaking right about now, actually. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. That public-private partnership uh, is really big, and I think it does truly show uh, how important this is for our community. Yep. Great. Absolutely. Well, I would like to thank you, gentlemen, for joining us today. It's uh, it's been great having you in here. The work uh, that you're doing is fantastic. We certainly at Cox want to support you as much as possible in getting the word out uh, and uh, and seeing people continue to enjoy the Blue Way uh, and and certainly all the great growth things that you have coming in the near future. Thanks for having. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank, thank you. Yes. For more information on the Roanoke River Blueway, visit RoanokeRiverBlueway.org. Before you go, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you choose us, we promise to provide you with quality products backed up by a talented local team of professionals. I'm Jeff Merritt, and we'll see you next time on Cox Connections.